Now, since we're talking about Israel again, I'm going to uh, thank you, Elder God, by the way. I'm still, uh, uh, let, let me get one thing uh, across as well, uh, because this is important. This is part of uh, something I read. Okay. So uh, just to set the stage. We're talking about sort of what's going on with Israel, what's going on in the United States, what's going on in the UK, what's going on in Canada, what's going on in the Western world, what's going on to a certain degree in Latin America and stuff like this, right? I read a long article about 25 years ago, it was the late 1990s, right, that I read this article. I've tried finding it over years multiple times and I haven't been able to find it again, right? And in this article, it stated the following okay i'm going by memory i'm summarizing and i'm going to make it quick it stated the following it stated that israel was not the promised land that was promised to the zionist movements to the that those that were pushing for an independent zionist israel right the promised land the zionist was actually the United States of America. So in that in-depth article that I read like 25 years ago, late 1990s, right, or early 2000s, maybe latest, right, it stated that Israel was transplanted into the Middle East, filled with Zionists, many of them that came from Russia and Europe, like most of the people living in Israel, most of the Jews that are living in Israel, Zionists, they're not they have no blood connection to the state of Israel. They are Europeans. That's it. Okay. So the Europeans, the Zionists, the Khazarian Mafia, the name stealers, as Cliff I would say, right? Back then it didn't call them the Khazarian Mafia, it didn't call them the name stealers. The transplanted peoples from this region that were taken and put into the Middle East transplanted there to create chaos, to create havoc, to commit genocide, imperialistic, right? That was not the promised land. That was put there to start World War III, okay? And the agenda was, once World War III started, this whole area would blow up. Nuclear weapons would come into play. And the Zionists that were promised this land, all of a sudden, they would all flood to the United States of America and Canada because this was really the promised land that their biblical prophets promised them and all that jazz, right? So this is really the promised land. And they would be completely independent from the chaos that they unleashed here and the devastation that is to come to Europe. And they don't want Africa anyway for its resources and stuff. Um, <laughs> I hope that's not delivery. Uh, but what they did, the reason they did this is because they're going to have enough resources because there's a huge amount of resources off the coast of Venezuela, Ghana, French, uh, Ghana, Suriname, Brazil, in this area that they're going to tap once this movement happens. Okay? Just wanted to share that. I'll be right back.